Welcome, and thank you for joining us for a special video presentation of Nathan Adelson Hospice's 18th annual Celebration of Life butterfly release. It is my privilege to join you via video as we celebrate the memory of our loved ones who are no longer with us. Today, as we do each year, we'll be releasing butterflies as symbols of love, transformation, and hope. Our event was inspired by a Native American legend. The story states that anyone who desires a wish to come true must first catch a butterfly, then whisper that special message or wish to the butterfly. Since a butterfly can make no sound, the secret is not revealed to anyone but the great spirit who hears and sees all. Grief is personal, but when shared can be healing. Being unable to hold gatherings to celebrate a life impacted so many last year. It is our hope that this day helps you on your journey of remaking life after loss. As a symbol of change, ultimately, the butterfly release is not about grief, but about love. As we honor those we have lost and celebrate their lives, together we share in the healing process and help strengthen each other and our community. Nathan Adelson Hospice has lost employees since the inception of this event, and today we remember John Anderson, Terry Gervich, and Mike Kemp. Last year, we lost two of the guiding lights of our organization, our founder, Erwin Mulaski, and Priscilla Schwartz, one of our most generous donors and supporters. Each of them helped make Nathan Adelson Hospice what it is today, and their loss is keenly felt. We are proud to be the community's trusted partner for comprehensive end-of-life care. All of today's proceeds benefit Nathan Adelson Hospice programs and services, which help ensure that no one end the journey of life alone, afraid, or in pain. We thank everyone for their continued support, as well as our valued sponsors and our charity partners. I want to say a special thank you to the following. Palm Mortuary, One Point Patient Care. It is now a privilege to introduce our chaplain, Pather Eastwood, who will share a message of hope and inspiration. We are so glad that you have taken the time in your busy schedule to pause a moment and join us in the Nathan Adelson Hospice Butterfly Release, honoring those who passed. It's safe to say that for all of us, 2020 was a year of unprecedented events in our lifetime. In ways previously unknown, we felt uncertainty, fear, sometimes even anxiety on so many levels. And in the midst of all that, you tended to the needs of a loved one. Many of you did so physically as caregivers, and yet many others did so from miles away, staying in touch with doctors, nurses, and caregivers via every means available, by phone, email, and messaging, even using FaceTime and Zoom on tablets for one more chance to tell your treasured loved one just how much you loved them. In many ways, the complications of this past year undoubtedly have complicated our grief as we've tried to pick up the pieces after the losses we have suffered. You may have experienced some days where it felt like you were falling apart, but the isolation from quarantine and the loneliness of grief were just too much to bear. Let's be honest, loss is exhausting and grief is tiring. But friends, there is hope. 
Laurie Beth Jones wrote, energy is everywhere, but stillness plays a major role in its conversion from potential to actualized energy. She went on to say, I was amazed to learn that butterflies have to spread their wings in the morning sunshine because the scales on their wings are actually solar cells. And without that source of energy, they cannot fly. You've paused today to participate in this year's butterfly release. So I ask, what is your solar energy? What is it that refreshes, strengthens, and re-energizes you? What is the light in your life that rouses you to fly again? Is it valued relationships with family and friends? Is it helping those in need? Is it a particularly favorite hobby or pastime? Often we find ourselves reignited by the very things our loved ones enjoyed, as it makes us feel close to them again and connected, as if they've re-entered our space and we have entered theirs. So today, the butterflies we are releasing are representative and in honor of your loved one. They will spread their wings as the light empowers them to take flight. And it's our hope that this also will symbolize the renewed energy and sense of purpose that awaits you as you lean into that which lights up your life, that part of you that your loved one admired. 2021 still remains to unfold. We don't know what it might hold, but we know where we can pause and find the strength to continue this flight of life. And as you live on, you carry your loved one with you. And thus, they live on too, through you. Nathan Adelson Hospice remains committed to the community throughout this pandemic. We are committed to serving families and giving them every possible option for help with grief and bereavement. Rest assured, we offer bereavement services to anyone in the community in need of this support, regardless of their participation in our hospice care services. It remains our privilege to carry out our vision that no one ends the journey of life alone, afraid, or in pain. Thank you for joining us today.